Hi, I'm Tolga and I'm the developer of the Elgato Game Capture HD Linux driver. Um, I'm gonna, today I'm going to show you how to set up the Elgato Game Capture HD device under Linux. Um, please note that this driver is not supported by Elgato. Um, so, okay, let's start. Uh, first of all, um, download the driver to your uh, hard drive. You will find it under in my GitHub and GitHub Togo 9009 Elgato. Yeah. This is the um, official and uh, unofficial driver, and uh, yeah, you can download it over here. Download as a zip, or you can also Git clone it. But um, yeah, you will need to install Git to do that. Um, save it. And okay. Yeah, once you save it, just extract it. Okay, this is it. Um, you will notice that the firmware uh, folder is empty, um, and you will need to extract the firmware files uh, from the official drivers. Uh, this is due to some licensing issues, um, yeah, and you will need to manually do it. Uh, you can find a brief instruction over here. Um, I'm gonna uh, walk you through that just right now. Um, yeah, so you can see how easy it is to do that. So first of all, go to the official website, download the drivers over here. And you will the Mac OS drivers uh, actually, um, and you will get a file. Uh, this one, you will download this file. It's about 30 MB, so no problem over there. Um, next, you will need to install uh, these two utilities. Um, the names might uh, be different on your Linux distribution, but uh, yeah, I also I already uh, installed them. I'm on Arch Linux, by the way. Um, okay, next step is to un uncompress them. Let me delete that file and just do it for you. So, dmg to image, don't the downloaded file, output gc dot image. I press OK and this will be your uncompressed file. The next step is to um, create a temporary folder in your TMP folder and I'm just gonna call it DMG and uh, you need to mount the uh, uncompressed image there and you need to mount as a root So the format is HFS plus dot image and we want to mount to TMP DMG. Enter my password and the image should be mounted now. We can use a file browser. Um, so TMP DMG and uh, the film files are located in the game capture HD contents resources firmware and beto folder these two are needed like it's stated over here and just copy them and paste them into the film folder oops and you're done next step is um, you need to um, compile this driver you will need to install libusb clang and make i've already done that um, just refer to your um, 
uh, Linux distribution and uh, find out the correct package names for these files, uh, for these packages, and install them. And after you have installed them, you can just write make, and it will um, compile the driver for you. You will have a new file. This is the Elgato GCHD, and this will be your driver. So let's uh, see over here. We got um, this command line, this command. So um, you need to run it as a root because uh, libusb needs to open up your device and uh, you will need to be root to do this. So Elgato R. So, and now you need to input your um, input resolution, your source resolution. And in my case, it is my PC and I've chosen the HDMI port uh, with 1080p. And uh, you can also input uh, 720p over HDMI or if you are using component like for your PS3, you need to write a small C uh, in uh, just um, prior to the resolution. So in my case, it's easy. R, uh, the flag R, 1080p, and I'm good to go. Enter my password. So this file has been created and uh, you need to open it up and uh, we will see. So I'm, I'm just gonna use VLC for it, but you can also use OBS. I will show you that in a second, but let's use a VLC for now. Open file, the TMP folder, this file over here, and it will take a bit and you will, you will see the image. So that image is coming from my uh, Elgato device. You will notice that um, these uh, command line messages showed up and yeah. So that is the actual image. Let me move over this terminal over there. As you can see, that's from my Elgato and you will notice the delay, but this is hardware limited and cannot be worked around by software. You will also notice that uh, the colors are uh, looking very odd. And this is due to the color space. I'm, us I'm uh, currently only uh, supporting um, a very specific color space. I will show you how to work around that problem. Usually the Xbox 360 should work fine. And I have no problems. I haven't tested any other devices yet. So for the PC, a um, workaround is currently to uh, set your color space. So I can do that in the NVIDIA server settings, Elgato, controls, I can set the color space to this one. And you will notice that the colors are looking okay right now. So I'm gonna move around over this window. And as you can see, everything is working fine. This is running at full HD resolution. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna show you now how to close uh, how to reset the device. <laughs> this is not really trivial because um, um, uh, the driver is using very special methods to do it. So uh, you need to close the file. Do not pause it. If you pause it, you will break everything. Uh, you need to close the file. And you need to press CTRL, Control C here. And wait, don't do anything else. So your device is going to be reset. This is going to take a while, um, like 10 seconds or 15 seconds. And this is actually um, currently uh, sending over some packets over to your device and resetting it. If you uh, unplug your device or interrupt this um, terminal by closing it or pressing Control C uh, a second time, um, you will need to replug your device to manually reset it. So, but now I've waited. The device has been successfully reset, 
and I'm just free to use this command line again. And I'm gonna just do that right now. Let me fire up OBS. Oh, okay, and this is my this is my screen capture. I'm gonna I want to open up a second time. So this is the recording one. Let me close this, uh, minimize, and okay. I'm just gonna quickly. I just want to see if the original one is still recording. Yeah, it's recording. Okay, I'm gonna show you how to add the Elgato as a media source to OBS so you can actually stream from your Linux device. So we are gonna run this command again. This file has been created and just open up this file in OBS. You can do that by pressing this plus button. Media source, create a new media source. I'm gonna name it Elgato. It's a local file. File system, TMP, and this file. Open up, press OK, running, streaming data, and boom, there you go. Gonna move around something. So, this is it. <laughs> um, I, th I hope you enjoyed it and um, I'm really curious to see if you guys, what you guys are uh, starting to do with this and yeah. Um, also please note that this driver is not uh, supporting the HE60 or the HE60 Pro. This driver is only supporting the original Game Capture HD devices. So, okay, I hope you enjoyed. Catch you next time.